Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. I hope you're doing really well, having a great week. I wanted to do a mini vlog sale today. I know, selling some of my handbags. Well, I decided that I have a really long wish list of things I want to buy in my lifetime and I think it won't hurt just to declutter a few things that maybe I'm not wearing as much. I was talking to my boyfriend Alex about uh, my bags and bags that I would like in the future and he said, you know, I think there's a few you could probably let go. And you know, he mentioned my So Kelly bag, um, this bag here, he's like, you can definitely sell that one. And I was like, oh, I really like this. So I think for now I'm going to keep it because I love the color. And I will say though, he's kind of right. Like the size is quite big and maybe it's not my absolute fa favorite bag, but uh, this one I'm not quite ready to let go yet, but I might actually let it go in the future. I'm not too sure. I only bought this one recently as well, but I do like this one, so I think I'm going to keep my So Kelly because, yeah, I really like that one. But a few of these other bags I'm selling today, I've thought about it a little bit and I'm like, maybe it's okay to say goodbye. I'm not upset that I bought these bags. I had so much fun with them, but, you know, as a bag enthusiast, I love to experience new bags and I would love to buy another bag or two this year, so I think it will be easier for me to do so if I let some things go. So first bag I'm deciding to sell is my boo boo boo. <laughs> uh, so I will include dust bag as well. Um, my Omnibus PM. This is a really gorgeous bag. I think the Omnibus is super underrated. This silhouette in particular is really trending at the moment. I mean, if you look at Mew Mew, if you look at, you know, I don't know, the row, it's like a very minimal shaped bag. And although it's, you wouldn't know it's Hermes, um, the craftsmanship is incredible. I will say that it feels like just as good quality as a Birkin or Kelly. It's made up of Clemence leather. It's in the color Potiron. And uh, yeah, the reason I'm selling it is honestly, I do love it. Um, it's just like, obviously, it's just not my favorite bag in my collection. I, I picked up a few bags uh, before, uh, like just recently, like my So Kelly, like my uh, Mosaic, and I'm really wearing those a lot more than this one. Uh, perhaps it's the color. This is in Potty Ron, which is like a muted orange, uh, but it's a gorgeous bag. This one is from 2008, I believe. So it's not a super new bag, but it's in amazing condition. Uh, as you can see, it looks quite good. Um, and if you do want to purchase this, I am going to post more pictures on my Instagram as well, which I'll link below. It's underscore Jessie style. And I'm going to post on my uh, feed just a lot more images of this bag and details as to the pricing. And if you do want to purchase any of my items today, just DM me on Instagram and we will sort out the shipping. And, you know, in Australia, I will provide free shipping. So that will be really good. But if you are overseas, I'm happy to ship to you as well. We just have to work out the price. And uh, I should have said this before, but yes, I will accept PayPal friends and family. If you are in Australia, I will accept bank transfer. Um, I think overseas it's a bit hard to do bank transfer um, to Australia. But yeah, PayPal friends and family, happy to do. And yes, um, it's a gorgeous bag. So I will include the dust bag. I have had this bag authenticated a few times as well. Um, I am not the first owner. I did buy it pre-loved. Um, and the inside is fully leather lined as well in Chev leather. Chev as well. I do have a, like a mini bag organizer which I kept in there so I'll include the bag organizer it was just one that I kind of cut to size uh, just to keep it clean I did look after this quite well I always put twillies on it and yeah I was very careful with it so I hope one of you guys will enjoy this bag because it looks really cute as well with bag charms like it is such a good I, I used to put like my um petite hedge cat on it or it looks really good with the pegasus and it looks really cute with twillies it's it's a really cool bag so and it's not an easy bag to find. So this price is pretty fair. I think it's a pretty fair market price. You know, if you're interested and we can sort it out on my Instagram, just DM me. I will be checking my folders, um, my multiple folders and seeing if anyone is interested. That's the bag there. Very pretty bag. So it's the PM size. So it does come in a bigger size as well, but this is the smaller size. So it's very cute. Next bag I am selling is my vintage 1960s 
Hello New bag. This bag I picked up uh, pre-loved. It's my only really vintage bag. Um, I do have some bags from the 90s, but this one is from the 1960s. And uh, I didn't really wear this very much, admittedly, but it was a really cool project to do. I I picked it up pre-loved and then I took it to the Hermes bag spa and they restored the leather for me. So it's kind of uh, definitely the leather is more nourished and it's definitely been like healing itself over time. Uh, when I first got it, it was very worse for wear, but um, I've been stuffing it and trying to um, improve. It had a bit of a musty smell to it. So the uh, mustiness has improved quite a lot. It does still have a bit of a musty odor to it, but it just it's I think it's just because it's quite old. So um, that sometimes happens with vintage but uh yes i think it's a really cool uh first piece to have i will include this twilly as well this is um a bit of an older twilly but i think it looks really nice on the bag and i think anyone who buys this needs to get the have the twilly as well so um yeah i will sell it for a really good deal um i think 800 usd is what i'll sell it for um which is pretty good because i paid like 400 australian dollars to get it restored but yeah, I just think it would be a really cool bag for someone who's new to Hermes or someone who loves vintage as well. I know a lot of you guys collect, like, older pieces. The hardware on this is incredible. It's this, you know, it's really lasted a long time. And it just opens like this, and the inside is really soft. I've just stuffed it with some, um, you know, some, like, floristry tissue paper in there just to keep the shape. Um, yeah, so that's my Pelo New bag. Um, I will post some more pictures on my Instagram because it does have some cracking on the handle, uh, which doesn't look that pretty. But um, that's why I will include the Twilly because I think it improves the bag a lot. You could take it to Hermes and they could perhaps replace the handle, but I imagine it would cost, like, a thousand or something dollars so i didn't bother to do that but yes that's the pelo new bag definitely a collectible and yeah i think i'm selling it for a pretty good deal so that's that if you're interested so i will include a dust bag as well i picked this one up pre-love um i haven't worn it very much hence why i'm selling it it's my a-line bag uh mini size in berenia leather so berenia leather is i guess a lot of Hermes collectors um, favorite leathers because it has this really natural luster to it it develops a really nice patina over time and um, it can scratch but you can kind of buff the scratches out uh, mine's uh, developed like a bit of a luster to it this one uh, it retails for like I think like four thousand Australian dollars something like that Berenia does cost a lot more than like Swift and um, like Epsom and that sort of thing. So, um, yes, I do want to sell this for a, a decent price. I, I'm going to sell it for 1,250 USD or 1,900 Australian dollars. Um, as I said, I will ship for free. Um, if you're in Australia, if you're international, we'll just work out the cost. Um, it's in really excellent condition. Of just leather, it just kind of gets a bit like of its own patina over time. Uh, it's a really rich leather, beautiful white contrasting stitch. The inside is very simple. It's just a suede interior. And this one is the long strap version. So you can crossbody. I think if you're really tall or if you're a bit larger chested, this is a really good crossbody because it's a super long crossbody. Um, there is a short strap version as well, which is a uh, sits a bit higher but this is the long version so yeah that's that one um i'm just letting it go because i didn't wear it very much so yes there's that one if you're interested please dm me on instagram and we'll work it out and yes uh very beautiful bag final pieces i'm gonna sell two pairs of shoes uh, one pair is very cute and I didn't want to sell it for a while, but I really don't wear them. I wore them twice. So I thought, um, you know, if anyone's inter interested, since I'm doing a vlog sale, maybe one of you guys will want to buy them. Um, these I'm going to be selling for 330 USD. Uh, there's some beautiful Chanel Mary Jane shoes. They have uh, just a little bit of a heel. These are very much trending at the moment. I know a lot of designers are doing these Mary Jane shoes. Um, as you can see, I did wear them um, and I wore them about twice. But the heels, as you can see, they're not like gone down. It's just under here it's a bit ugly so yes um i think it's worth selling them because i don't wear them but they're really cute um i wish i did wear them more um they're gorgeous shoes they would have retailed for quite a significant amount probably over two thousand australian dollars 
Um, so yes, I'm selling them for a good deal. So if anyone's interested, it has a little bit of a CC there, uh, just DM me on Instagram. Um, I don't really wear espadrilles. They're not really my style, but I do have this gorgeous pair of pink quilted Chanel espadrilles with the contrast. Um, I love this color combination. I think it is so adorable. The nice thing about these is that they have a little dangling chain as well. Um, I will be selling them for 330 USD as well. Um, I did wear them twice, but as you can see, they're just worn like just very slightly here um, and the base is fairly good. Um, no yuckiness inside because I hardly wore it because I just don't really like espadrilles. Not my style, but I got them because they're pink and very cute. So um, I thought it would be nice if um, I could sell them for a bit of a deal and uh, one of you guys can snap them up. I kind of am um, not as into Chanel as I used to be. So yes, I'm selling those as well. Um, and that's about it. I was considering selling a few bad charms as well because I have a lot, but I couldn't decide which ones to sell. Uh, yeah, so I decided to think about that one and I thought I'd keep it to a small sale. Uh, yeah, so if you're interested in any of these pieces, as I said before, you can DM me on Instagram. I will list below everything for sale in my description bar so you can re-look at the prices, what's included, uh, payment methods, all that. And yeah, thanks for watching my video today. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Goodbye.